Hello, this is Asma Khan. I'm the founder of Dajini Express. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. This is an all-female kitchen, and this is a great place to celebrate Women's History Month. I'm going to make a very, very traditional street food chicken pakora. To do the chicken pakora, there are two steps. In this pan, I'm putting in the buttermilk. In the buttermilk goes the chicken. Chicken I've already cut into small cubes. Now I'm going to just go through the masala. This is Indian bay leaf, different from the Mediterranean one. Lighter color, different shape. Try and look for this one. Don't use the Mediterranean bay leaf. Cardamom, green cardamom, clove. When people talk about cinnamon, cinnamon is a real curly, woolly thing. This is cassia bark. When Indians talk about cinnamon, they mean this bark. So I'm just putting a small piece in there. And then the fennel, which if you haven't seen fennel, this is what it looks like. It smells of fennel. I don't know how to describe it with spices. It's a very unique spice. My kitchen is all women. Uh, usually we have around nine women, from students to grandmothers. We have a pregnant woman right now working with us. You don't get to see females cooking in kitchens in the West or in the East. Uh, you do see them in homes. And these are all home cooks. I'm a home cook too. I'm not a chef. I have very basic knife skills. We've cooked for families our whole life. We have, you know, just life experience of feeding and serving people. I'm just gonna now cook it uh, uncovered for around 20 minutes. Uh, you can take out one piece and just cut it to see that it's not pink all the way in. It's gonna be cooked again, so you don't have to actually cook it to death. You just gotta make sure that actually it's absorbed all the flavors. That's all you need to do. Women's History Month is important. I think women should be celebrated every day. A lot of women make a lot of what they're doing look effortless. And I think that that's the problem, that this whole idea that women are all powerful and do a lot of stuff. The way you look at your mom, you know, you know your mom's gonna sort out everything. But it's not that easy. And I think that we need this month, not just to sit back and think about things that are happening around us, but to inspire the next generation. It is our duty to clear the pathways on which we fell, the hurdles that you and I could not jump. We need to know that that hurdle doesn't exist for the young girls coming after us. This month is a time where we actually focus on how you can leave a positive legacy. You know, look back in history, you will know the women who were the change makers. I want to be on the right side of history. So now we are making the, the batter with the buttermilk in which the chicken had been boiled and you put in some of the yogurt, start whisking it. Don't add the rice flour till all the lumps are gone. You get a smooth batter. Add a bit of salt. So now I add the rice flour. Rice flour gives uh, the batter a crunchier texture. So here, my batter is ready. And you know, this is a bit thick, but it's better to be in this position. I can add a bit more of the buttermilk. So here I'm adding the roasted cumin, chili powder. Of course, you know, you don't have to add that much chili powder. So I'm just gonna add a bit more liquid in there because the batter is a bit thick. So literally just a touch, I'm just gonna add a touch more of water. So you want the batter to be dropping consistency. So now that my batter is ready, I'm gonna dip the chicken pieces in the batter, make sure it's coated completely, and then fry them in small batches in oil. The entire journey of starting from not knowing how to cook to cooking pretty decent and then at this level where I could actually run a business is really the influence of my mother because she used to do catering and it's only when I sat back and thought about all the things I'd learned from her that I realized that I'm so much like her. Anyone who's South Asian from the East will understand this. There's no weights, there's no measures. Mothers give random, random instructions on how to cook. And my mother taught me exactly this. So she gave me random comments that you add this and you add that till it's done. But I watched, I watched and I replicated. Being next to her, I was immersed in everything around, the aromas, the sound, how it looked half fried, how it looked completely fried. It was like, you know, memories that just I stored in me. I feel she was handing over to me her entire legacy. I now know the next generation in my family will get the same dishes that my mother can make and my grandmother because the recipes are now in my hands. People should never be selfish. If you have knowledge, use it. Never ever think that you will be less of a person because you're, you shared something. You light up someone else's life. That's powerful. You go to your grave with all this knowledge. That's so wrong. And I really want to kind of spread the light, spread this love of food, all the things I learned, because it gave me so much joy. I want someone else to be happy. So to accompany the chicken pakora, I've uh, gone for a kind of fresh, tangy, very much like a salsa. It's what we call lal chutney or tomato chutney, and you just chop it up roughly. And it's just nice to have a kind of crunchy, fresh sauce kind of thing to cling around the pakoras. 
My advice to young women who are interested in being chefs is do not allow others to color your judgment on what you can be and who you can be. Do not walk into a kitchen with your head down. Walk with your head up. No one can make you feel inferior, inadequate, incompetent, unless you let them do that. I know it's very easy for me to say this, but fight your corner. And remember this, that you're doing this not just for yourself, but for all the girls around in the kitchen. History is full of stories of women who stood up and said, I will not allow this to happen. You can be that. Be powerful, go into the kitchen, and you can rule the world. So here you have it, chicken pakoras with a very fresh lal chutney or tomato chutney. Mm. This is a great combination because immediately all that lemon and, and honey and chili fragrance just goes straight into the pakora. This is just, I could eat this all day. Mm. So this is Asma Khan from Darjeeling Express, celebrating Women's History Month. I hope you enjoy cooking from my recipe. Thank you.